Figma just released its biggest update ever. At its yearly conference called Figma Config, they have announced multiple different new products and apps that will get you from just basic designs to very complex prototypes, websites, drawing and so much more. Like the features are crazy. In the next five minutes, I'll summarize everything that was announced at the Figma Config keynote. All right, so the first one in my notes is grid-based auto layout. Now, grid-based auto layout brings these insane grids to your designs. And you can add any number of rows and columns. You can specify that and you can insert designs into each row and column. That as well, you can adjust on the artboard with just moving it left to right or top to bottom. You can even replace each element in the columns or the rows one by one, or you can switch positions of different elements. A lot of stuff can be done very quickly with this grids super cool feature. This also kind of reminds me of Adobe XD and Penpot, two to tools that had such features. By the way, any anything added to these grids will also be automatically responsive. So you increase or decrease, the width will obviously adjust accordingly. You can even do nested grids. So you can have one grid in, inside another grid, inside another grid, you, so you can do that. Also, we now are greeted with a nice little redesign. The auto layout panel, you will now have a nice little redesign. There are these little buttons, you can switch between different layout modes, horizontal, vertical, and now of course this grid based layout. What is cool is that this is friendly with dev mode. So it does get converted into code very well. Next big announcement is probably one of the biggest of the year. It is Figma Sites, the much anticipated feature. To begin with, the Sites Editor is completely different. So now you can start a Sites Figma file and this will look very different from the original Figma file. You even have some quick shortcuts on the left so that you can quickly dive between different settings of the website. They are bringing of course breakpoints which is super useful. Breakpoints are basically for responsive and adaptive design. So basically you can divide the design between desktop, mobile and tablet. And if you make a change in the desktop version, the change will happen on all screens. But if you make a change in the mobile or the tablet, it will only happen in mobile, bringing adaptive design finally to Figma. In Figma sites, they're also bringing preset interactions. Preset interactions are great if you want to add a quick interaction to buttons, images, text, etc. Under interactions, you will have preset interactions and you can add anything to any element. For example, in the keynote, they showcase the button popping up whenever one would hover over it or typewriter text, which is a nice little effect, or even parallax animations automatically added, which you can obviously adjust. You can adjust timing, you can adjust how it will interact with the user or the mouse, etc. So all those interactions will be available with editing while you are doing this in Figma sites. Apart from this, they have Figma CMS, which is coming very soon this year. It allows you to create a blog or any other dynamic data can be added to your websites, which makes it much more useful than just a static normal one pager. The Figma site feature is live now. Probably when this video has come out, it is already live for most users. They're also launching something called Code Layers. Pretty cool name. Code layers actually brings coding to Figma slides. So you can add custom code to a component. You can even change animations, etc. using code. So you will have a lot of access to code. You can add your own custom code as well as interact with the Figma elements using code. So it's not just external code. It's also Figma elements being manipulated with code. All that will come under a guide. If there's already a guide, I'll have a link in the description. If not, Hopefully they'll release one very soon. Okay, so the next update might blow your mind. So just hold on to your chairs because literally you can make anything with Figma now with Figma Make, pun intended. Figma Make literally allows you to do anything that you can do with code, etc. using AI inside Figma. So now you can bring in your existing designs that you've created in Figma. Just type in a prompt inside this Figma Make tab. It will literally live create a product for you. And the best part is it allows you to integrate third party APIs. So for example, you can integrate a Google Maps into your into your website using Figma Make. You can literally build a 3D game inside Figma. Yes, if that is your idea, it will bring it to life. The keynote speaker actually was playing a game, a 3D game inside Figma thanks to Figma Make. How crazy is that? To be able to access hardware features using this 
Figma Make tab. What I come to believe is that this is going to be a separate tool, but built inside the Figma application. You can use this to create basic prototypes with your Figma designs. So just adding animations, etc., is also just possible. I mean, prototyping now has a different meaning. These no code AI tools are going to replace prototyping essentially. So the meaning of prototyping is very different now. Buzz. Okay. This is going to solve one of the biggest problems. Designers create something, but can people edit these designs? It's tricky to do, right? Either they'll have to know how to use Figma or they will might fiddle around and ruin the entire file. There's a lot of issues there. Figma Buzz brings a basic design editor for people who do not know how to use Figma or don't have time to use Figma. Literally, they can tweak the assets in your designs, only the assets that you give them access to, so they can replace images, text, and even change between variables that you've added inside Figma design. This kind of reminds me of Canva. A lot of people in the live chat yesterday were talking about Canva, this kind of looking and feeling like Canva, and this might be. Tomorrow, designers might create some stuff and build and just publish it to people to edit quickly and just utilize their edits for their own work, their branding, etc. Buzz might be able to do that for people. What's cool for organizations or just people who are making bulk edits, bulk edit is a feature which allows you to just upload a CSV or an Excel file, and it magically gets added and just multiplies over a thousand times, two thousand times, whatever number of CSV elements you have, this will create for each one of these elements. Dynamic designs, basically. Now this next tool might replace a bunch of graphic design illustration tools. This is called Figma Draw. Yup, the name surprised us. Figma Draw basically brings a lot of graphic design capabilities like Illustrator, as well as drawing capabilities like Procreate. So basically you'll be able to do a lot of graphic design, including different kinds of effects, even adding things like progressive blur, something that designers have been waiting for in Figma. Essentially here you'll have a quick toggle, so you can toggle between Figma design, dev mode, as well as Figma draw. So Figma draw essentially will bring up all these graphic design tools. You can quickly design, design your graphics and come back. Even have brushes in Figma draw. So essentially, if you have a drawing tablet like a Wacom, you can quickly just draw on that with different brushes and brush settings. So hopefully they might even introduce new brushes in the future in Figma community for you to download. That would be really cool. You also have detailed control for every effect. So if there are squiggly lines, you can edit those squiggly lines. If there's a smudge effect, you can increase or decrease that smudge effect. There are a lot of little edits that you can do with Figma Draw bringing it very close to an actual graphic design tool as well, apart from just being a UI design tool. So now UI designers can also do visual and graphic design. All right, what was your favorite feature? For me, it was definitely Figma Sites because it brings it closer to all my favorite no-code tools. But let me know in the comments, will this replace a lot of the favorite tools that are out there already? Is this a worthy update. For me, it was a 10 on 10. And also, if you want me to cover any feature in detail, please let me know that in the description. I'll be making some new videos throughout the weeks covering most of these features, but tell me your favorite one so I can do that as well. Anyone who's new on the channel, I create such design content every week, so make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out any content. And hit the like button, not just for me this time, but also for Figma. Thank you Figma for such an amazing event and I'll see you next time. Take care, God bless.